construction of the Walterdale Bridge began in 2013 with in-river berms and a laydown area. In the spring, the contractor excavated two 20-meter deep coffer dams on each side of the river to serve as work areas to build the concrete thrust blocks. Over the summer, Queen Elizabeth Park Road was realigned and drainage work was completed on the south side. In 2014, work began on the concrete thrust blocks and bridge abutments. Each thrust block used 600 cubic meters of concrete and 44 steel micropiles. During this time, arch steel fabrication began in South Korea. Each piece of the arch was unique, so the arches had to be pre-assembled to ensure a proper fit. Over the summer, crews realigned Walterdale Hill Road. The contractor came up with a plan to get the arches into place by floating them across the river. In preparation, crews extended the berms, installed temporary lift towers, and poured temporary concrete tracks to get the arches to the water. In early 2015, the steel arrived and the arches were assembled. Crews completed the thrust blocks and backfilled the coffer dams, leaving only the top anchors visible. To accommodate the arch float, two huge barges were assembled and the river was dredged. On November 22nd, the central arch was floated across the river and placed on the berms. In 2016, the arches were raised in two massive lift operations. The first happened on January 19th and took six hours. The second took place on April 12th and took eight hours. The work was so finely detailed that the arch pieces had to line up within a few millimeters. The arches were then bolted and welded together. The shared use path steel arrived in the spring and was assembled off-site. Construction of the bridge deck began with the installation of support steel and hangers were installed to transfer the weight of the deck to the arches. Once the supporting steel and hangers were in place, work began on the deck concrete. The shared use path assembly was completed and delivered to the site in the spring of 2017. This element is the true signature piece of the Walterdale Bridge, and it's the only one of its kind in the world. With the entire bridge structure in place, crews spent the summer welding the shared use path and paving the deck. The city of Edmonton proudly opened the bridge to traffic in the fall of 2017. And in November of 17, the signature shared use path was officially opened for use. In August 2018, the park space and trail connections around the bridge were completed. These trails further connect Edmontonians to the beautiful River Valley. The city of Edmonton is proud to celebrate this milestone in the Walterdale Bridge Project.